Oh, you're eating a lorikeet, mate. Hey, so welcome to Caboolture, home of the carpet python. We've got uh, one right here in the middle of winter who's decided he's going to eat a lorikeet. Hey, mate. But we also want him to get the, the lorry down so it's not a wasted bird. So come up onto here, mate. We've just noticed him. He's taken one of their own and they want to come in for the attack. So I think me sitting here is going to keep him a little safe from, from those blokes. Come on, mate. They like whenever they're swallowing down food, it takes time. But you can see his tiny little teeth are just hooking into this edge of the feathers there. And it's amazing. Snakes are able to break down absolutely everything. And so he's going to spend the next couple of weeks trying to bask wherever he possibly can. So hopefully the weather holds out. And, uh, and get that heat and also that UV. The UV is actually gonna synthesize the calcium that he's breaking down in his body. He'll be able to absorb that and that's gonna strengthen his skin, his scales and his bone. And those two bottom jaws don't actually attach. They kind of sit like a V and separate and that enables them to crawl over the food item. And as we saw last week up in Southeast Asia, when you get the really big pythons, they can eat people. So um, these guys obviously don't get nearly as big here in Caboolture. They, uh, they eat little lorikeets and work their way up to possums. <laughs> so you can see just there, that's his little Davy Jones tentacle. That's his windpipe. And he sticks that out so he can still breathe. You'll just see the odd breath come out of that while he's, uh, he's got his mouth full. Now we do want to avoid touching him as much as possible. This is the critical point where they're getting those legs down. Oh, the lorikeet I had to move him because he was going to go in the building just before, but now he's out feeding again. We'll wait till he's got the lorikeet completely down. Otherwise, it's just a waste of a bird. And it is winter, so for a skinny snake like him, he wants to have that little bit of an extra feed. Otherwise, he wouldn't be bothering. Took him a bit, but he's finished. There's the big lump. Now get him in the bag, get him off the roof and into a bit of bush.